Hey, what is up guys? It's Brendan here and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a payment link on PayPal. And this is an easy way that you can create products and services and then sell those and send the payment links directly to your customers. So it's very easy for you to go ahead and accept and get paid on your PayPal account. So that's what I'm going to be showing you here in today's tutorial, step by step exactly how to do it. Now, of course, first things first, you're going to want to make sure that you are logged in to your PayPal account. Now, I am currently using a PayPal business account. So in order to do this, you may or may not need a business account. I'm just going to be showing you through the lens of what it looks like for a business because I imagine it might be a little bit different if you are using a PayPal personal account. So make sure if you, especially if you are doing this for business purposes, is that you do get a PayPal business account. It's completely free uh, and it's very easy to even transition a personal account to a PayPal business account. So that's important so that everything is set up correctly in your account and that you actually have the functionality that you would need uh, in order to do this in this way on your PayPal account. So make sure it's a PayPal business account. It's what you really should be using anyway if you are getting set up with your business. Now to go ahead and create the payment link, all you need to do is, of course, we're on the homepage here. Now, depending on how your account is set up, you may or may not have this in the quick access section. Uh, essentially, it is the pay links and buttons. That's what we're going to be going to. Now, if you don't have this in your quick access section, uh, alternatively, you can also come up here to the navigation bar, click pay and get paid. And then you can come over here underneath the get paid section. Uh, all the way at the bottom, we have pay links and buttons. Now, there are a variety of different ways to get paid on PayPal. But in this tutorial, we're going to be focusing here on just the payment links because it is a little bit different from creating an invoice or creating like a PayPal.me setup. So those are a little bit different. Um, this is payment links and buttons. We're going to go ahead and click that there and it will take us over to this page here where we can actually go ahead and create that payment link. Uh, and you can also see a live version as well uh, of what that payment process would look like for your customer on the checkout page as well as uh, on the thank you page. Now, one thing to keep in mind here as well, which is pretty nice about PayPal is that your customer is not limited to just paying with PayPal as well. Uh, they can also pay with Venmo, uh, PayPal Pay Later, which I get is kind of the same, uh, Apple Pay as well as a debit or credit card with MasterCard, Visa, and more. So I imagine the and more is probably Amex and Discover. Um, but so your customers can pay with alternative payment methods, even beyond just PayPal uh, with using the pay PayPal PayPal payment links uh, and buttons, which is pretty nice. So to go ahead and actually go about creating one, uh, as you can see here, we are on the payment link and QR code. So when you do go about doing this, it will also create a QR code option as well, which might make it easier for you to send that to your customers uh, and your clients and things like that. Um, so this is just a very easy way to go about doing it. You could also opt for a payment button uh, as well. That might make more sense if you're going to be um, adding it to like a website or something like that. We're gonna go ahead and stick to payment link and QR code. Um, and then what you need to do in order to actually create this and build it is we're going to have to create a product or service. Now, you don't have to enter in a bunch of this extra information here. You don't have to customize the thank you page. Um, I'll be showing you what that looks like in just a second. Um, but all you need to do realistically is just add a product or service name and the type. So the type is a single product or service. Uh, you could also, you know, let this be uh, a customer defined so they can pick what they pay. Um, so then it will show like this. So that could be good if it's like a tip situation um, or, you know, let customers pick what they pay. You also have the option to do variable product or service so they can choose from a, a list of options as well. Um, and you can add multiple item options. So maybe if you wanted to do like three different item options, you can also do that here as well. Um, I'll be walking through what that process sort of looks like as well. We're going to start with the single product or service. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and in this case, we're going to say maybe you cut somebody's lawn or um, maybe you did like hair and nails or something. So let's just say nails, uh, nail salon or something like that. I don't know. Um, it's a nail service that you offered them. Um, or like a single consultation or something like that. Um, that would make the most sense in this case. And then the price, you go ahead and put in the price here. We're gonna go $200. Um, you know, you can pretty much type in any amount that you want. Uh, you can let customers buy, you know, more than one at a time, a certain amount of quantity. We're gonna leave that disabled. 
uh, you can collect uh, shipping address. You can also, if it's just digital or like a service, you can uh, click to not collect the customer shipping address uh, in case you just don't really need that from them. Uh, you also can offer a shipping fee if this is going to be something that you are going to be shipping them directly. Um, I get most people are probably going to be using this for a service-based business, but if you are actually selling products to them, uh, you can also get that information here as well uh, if you need to or charge a you know specific shipping rate or free shipping. Um, you can also just, you know, I guess in this case, you, I already clicked it. So, but it is optional. You don't necessarily even have to, or shipping is not applicable. Um, so you can click through here on the options. You can also have a tax rate or tax is not applicable or using a uh, specific tax rate or something from settings. Again, uh, of course you would need to collect the address to make that work. Um, and then you can also add a label such as like delivery instructions or certain things like that. And then on the thank you page, this is optional. So you can have an auto uh, return URL. So you can use a custom URL. Maybe you just send them to your business's website or something like that. Um, that's up to you if you want to add something like that. You don't necessarily have to. Uh, we can just leave it as no auto return. And so once we've done that, we've added essentially all you really need is the service name and the price and then in the currency. Now, of course, by default, for me, it's in the US dollars. Um, if you're in other countries, you can also select a specific currency here. They have a lot of different options um, as far as different currencies. Uh, so once we have done that, we're then going to click on, obviously this is to show what the checkout process looks like as well as the uh, thank you page here. Uh, so on the checkout process, $200 nail salon, and then boom, they just click pay. Now we're gonna go ahead and build it just so you can see what that actually looks like. Uh, and as you can see here, once you have clicked build it, you will then have uh, the payment link. So you will have the payment link, you will have the QR code as well. So you could also um, make this a QR code and just share it with your customer that way via a QR code image. Uh, you could do stacked buttons as well if you want to embed it with HTML or even just a single button. Uh, I, most people are probably just going to go with the payment link, but they do offer you a multiple multiple different options um, as far as linking it or embedding it somewhere if you wanted to go about doing that. Um, again, probably the payment link and QR code are probably the two most popular, easiest options for you. Um, so the payment link, once you have the actual uh, payment link, all you would need to do is then go ahead and copy that link and then it will appear here as you can see on screen uh, with the nail salon $200 and then the also pay with the Venmo, pay later, Apple pay or debit and credit card. Uh, and that's pretty much it as far as creating a single payment link. You can duplicate it, you could delete it, you could create a new one uh, as well. You can also go back and edit it if you need to change some of the options here. Um, but it is pretty straightforward as far as what that process looks like. If you want to create another one, you can go to create new and it will then refresh and create a brand new one. Uh, and this would make a lot of sense too if you wanted to go through here, maybe select like a variable product or service so that you would have you know multiple different items that people can click through. Um, again, you would need to add multiple options. So maybe you have um, lawn, uh, service like a basic service and then you have like uh, uh, cut and blow or something like that I, I I don't know I'm just making things up here as we go um, so maybe that's a hundred dollars and then that's like an uh, fifty dollars something like that um, and then they can go through here and select okay well if I want a full lawn service it's a hundred dollars or if I just want the, the simple cut service it's fifty dollars so you can kind of create multiple options here too uh, or maybe if you have you know, any other type of payment system. I mean, you can really get cr pretty creative here. Um, you can add quite a bit of options here. If you wanna add more item names, you can see sort of the preview, what those items uh, names are or what they, you know, have selected. They can select a different dollar amount that they want to pay you with. Um, so, you know, you have a, quite a bit of options here and then all you have to do is click on build it. Now uh, you need the product service. So uh, lawn lawn service and we're going to go ahead and click build it of course we need a price here for these so i'll do at least just a dollar and a dollar item name needs to be different so put two uh, item name one so there we go and we're going to go ahead and click build it and then now we have that multiple different item option uh, on the payment link so they can go through here and select the different item uh, and go about doing it that way. And then all you have to do is then copy this link 
um, and it's right there. You just click copy link. We'll copy it to the clipboard and then you can easily send and share that link with anybody uh, that you want to get paid on or you can do the QR code as well and download that too if you want. But if you just want the payment link, you copy the link and boom. That's how easy it is to create and then send those payment links. Again, you could share it via text or social media or DMs, anything like that. Uh, and that's how you can send those payment links that you so you can get paid on your PayPal account. So guys, I hope you found this tutorial helpful on how to create payment links and a variety of different types of payment links even as well on PayPal. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, so you're notified whenever I upload. Oh, and hit that notification bell, so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Anyway, guys, that's all for today's video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.